Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna run a little chicken wing experiment. I love cooking chicken wings on the grill. I've been using my Vortex inside my Weber kettle to produce some high heat to get those wings crispy. But I've seen online that you can use cornstarch to coat the wings with, put a little seasoning on it, and it makes them super crispy. So I'm gonna kinda do a compare and contrast today on the video. Let's get to cooking. So I've got some whole fresh wings I bought this morning at the grocery store. And instead of cooking them whole, I'm gonna break these down into what people call party wings. It's just a big wing. So what you wanna do is just expose that joint there and you take a knife and you can go right through it. It's nothing to cut these up. Same thing on this side, go right through it. Once you hit the joint, you can separate them into the flat and the drummies. And I'm just gonna do that for all these wings. You can save the tips if you want. They make good stock. I'm probably just gonna to toss them today. And I like buying these whole wings because they're bigger. Sometimes when you buy the frozen wings, the drummies, the drumettes are super small. I like a good sized piece of chicken when I'm doing wings. All right, so we've got our wings split. I pulled our controls over to the side. These I'm just gonna season and run just like a normal grilled chicken wing. This batch is where we're gonna do our cornstarch. Now I have a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna put a half a cup of cornstarch right in the bag but I also want to get some seasoning in there. And I'm just using my barbecue rub. You could use whatever you want. I'm not really measuring it. I'm just going to free pour it. There's probably, you know, a couple tablespoons. That looks good to me. We'll take that, mix it up a little bit. And then we're going to drop our wings in a few at a time. Let's close it up. And we're just going to toss them in this cornstarch. They have a little moisture on them from where just sitting outside coming out of the package. That's going to make this cornstarch stick. Now we're going to take them out and we're going to put them on a little drying rack. We're going to shake the excess off and we're just going to start lining them up on our rack here. And check that out. They got a good coating both sides of that cornstarch and rub mixture. Also going to add a little seasoning to these plain wings. We haven't done anything to them. That's our control batch. Just putting some barbecue rub on them. Flip them till we get both sides. A little more seasoning. I'm gonna put a little on these, season the tops. So we get a little bit more of that rub flavor on them. Gotta get both sides, right? Just a touch more rub over that cornstarch. Now I just want these wings to sit here for a few minutes and air dry. Perfect time to go ahead and fire up the grill. Let me show you how I'm gonna set the Weber up today. So I'm just using my standard Weber 22 inch kettle grill for this cook. I've got a charcoal vortex in the center. I've got some charcoal in it and a couple fire starters. And I'm just gonna light these and let these coals get good and hot. We're gonna get the grate in place. Then we're gonna put our lid on. Let this Weber really heat up. That vortex is throwing all that heat up in the center of the dome and it's gonna spread out over the cooking grate. I've got the vents 100% on bottom, 100% on top, so it's drawing air up through the grill. Now, it doesn't take no time at all for this grill to get hot. You can see it's already busted 500 degrees here. I'm going to take the lid off for a second. We're going to start getting our wings on. So we're just going to set these wings right on the grate out towards the edge. Now we're going to put up the wings on that we just seasoned. No cornstarch. They look good already. We're also going to place one chunk of wood right over the vortex. I've just got some hickory smoker wood. I'm going to lay that right on top. We're going to get the lid in place and we're going to let these wings cook. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Smoker wood's ablaze. That's what you want to see. I'm going to start turning these wings. Seem to be getting a little crispy. Still see some of that cornstarch, but that's okay. I think it's going to turn into a beautiful crust on them. Anytime you're cooking with this vortex, you got to remember, don't go right over the top of it because you can see it's hot. I will say this, these rub wings look better. They're all flipped. What we're gonna do now, put the lid back on and just keep cooking them until they're done. Now we start to see some crispy looking wings. Still see a little cornstarch on them. That's okay though. Our wood's about burnt up. It's gonna give us all that smoke flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and flip some of these. We're gonna continue to cook. They're not done yet, but the ones that are really looking good, are these are barbecue rub wings. I love the way that looks. I wanna eat those as is. They need another five, maybe 10 minutes. We're just gonna keep cooking them and see. Let's get the lid back on. I'm gonna start checking them every five minutes now because I don't wanna overcook these wings. Can't wait to try them though. All right, 25 total minutes. And our wings are looking fantastic. I'm gonna give them a last flip. But what's really getting me, these cornstarch wings, you don't see any of that cornstarch anymore. It looks like fried chicken on the grill. The rub wings look phenomenal as far as looking like a hot wing. But our little cornstarch experiment is starting to get crispy. They need just a few more minutes. Let's get the lid right back on and give them five more minutes. All right, so we're a total 30 minutes in 
on these wings. And we definitely have some crispy action going on the cornstarch wings. They look totally different than the ones we just put the rub on. I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna start getting them off here. I mean, check that out. It's beautiful. It's got a crust on the outside. Looks like it's been fried, but it was cooked right here on the Weber. Now we gotta go over to the cutting board because I gotta do a compare and contrast on these. So both wings turned out really well. I want to try them without any sauce or anything. So the first one, I've got to get one of these crispy wings. I mean, check that out. Cornstarch cooked made that crust on it. You can't even tell there was any on there. You can see some of the seasoning in it, but it looks like fried chicken. So I'm going to pull a piece off. I know it's going to be hot. Mmm. It tastes like fried chicken on a grill. I mean, you get that outside, that crust flavor from it. I'm not really picking up anything strange on the cornstarch. It just tastes like chicken skin. It is crispy. It has that crispy taste, but you get some of that smoke from the wood that we put on there. It's picking it up. It could use a little more seasoning. It's a little flat because I didn't really put a whole lot of rub in with the cornstarch. But the flavor is really good. Chicken's cooked perfect. Bones clean. Now let's compare it to one of the ones that all it had was rub on it. So I'm gonna grab one of these flats here. Let's pull the bone out. Bone comes right out, and that's beautiful. Mm. And that one tastes like a grilled wing. So you can taste the seasoning on the outside. It's got the grilled flavor. It tastes like barbecue chicken. And it's really, really good, but it does not have the crunch factor that the cornstarch gave the crispy wing. Well, now I wanna see what they're like when we toss them in a hot wing sauce. And I've just mixed up spicy garlic buffalo wing sauce. Started with a bottle of my Killer Hogs hot sauce, some butter. I'll put the recipe right up on the screen. It's really a great buffalo wing sauce, but I wanna toss some of these wings in that sauce. And then we're gonna compare them again. I'll do it a few at a time here. Just gonna pour a little sauce over them. Give them a quick toss. That looks good to me. We're gonna put them right back out. I wanna see how that crust stands up to the sauce once we've tossed them in it. Let's do a few of these regular seasoned ones. We'll keep some tossed, some not tossed. How about that? So now let's compare the sauce with the cornstarch batter. I'm just gonna grab this one right here. And that just kicked it up to a whole nother level. You still get the crunch coming through, but now it's got a ton of flavor. The taste of the garlic, I can get the heat from it. It's buttery, it's rich. You can, you can taste the spices that we put in it. I really like that. That's awesome. It's like a fried hot wing, but you still get the grilled flavor. Now let's try one of these that we just put the rub on. No cornstarch, just a plain wing with the sauce. Mm. I don't know which one's better. I mean, I love the just the plain wing with the rub on it. It tastes great, it's juicy, it's got a lot of grilled flavor, but they're different. This one has the crunch. It's more like a buffalo wing you get out of a restaurant. This one tastes like a grilled hot wing. They're both fantastic. Now the sauce on these is what took it to a whole nother level. I mean, it brought out the crunch in the wing, but it gave the crispy ones a really, a buffalo hot wing joint type flavor. And these, it just brought some heat to it, went right with the barbecue seasoning. So it's like a grilled hot wing. Both are great ways to try wings. I call this one a wing success. I'm definitely gonna have to try the cornstarch again on a grilled wing. I think you could really add some seasoning to it, ramp up that flavor, maybe put some cayenne or something that's gonna make it spicy and you won't even need a sauce. Now the grilled hot wing, hey, that's a standard around here. We love those, but try that sauce. It's very good on wings. You don't even have to grill them. You can do them any kind of way. Thanks for watching us here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Catch us at the end of the week on our podcast where we wrap up all the delicious stuff we do. We'll see y'all next time. Hmm. Yeah, that's good.